capital flows into commodities have just hit the highest level in history. Yeah? Net inflows into commodities this month, they have tallied up a whopping 1.4 trillion. Uh, that's the largest monthly allocation into commodities ever seen. Uh, this comes as no surprise, given that today's highly macro driven backdrop, that is fueling one of the greatest wealth creation opportunities of our lifetimes. So far this month, a long list of the world's most powerful Wall Street institutions, they have pulled out hundreds of billions of dollars from stocks and pivoted over into commodities. As commodity prices continue their upward surge, analysts at Goldman Sachs, they're calling this new phenomenon the beginning of the great rotation. As traders finally cash out of highly priced and frothy stocks and rotate into booming cycles taking place in commodities. One of the biggest beneficiaries of the commodity super cycle has unquestionably been gold. Gold's meteoric rise that has continued to go from strength to strength, significantly bolstering its iconic status as the must-have asset class in every portfolio. Gold prices, they've been on an unstoppable run since October last year, surging from 1,800 US dollars per ounce to all-time record highs. The precious metal is now up 23% since mid-February. Gold prices, they've chalked up a whopping gain of over 35% since October. Meanwhile, silver prices, they've moved within striking distance of $30 per ounce, climbing over 42% since mid-February. As the demand for commodities continues to soar, copper prices, they're rapidly emerging as the next major metal that could be destined for explosive upside this year. Copper's second secular bull market this century, it's off to a red-hot start in 2024, with prices skyrocketing towards $10,000 per metric tonne to hit their highest level in two years. This boom in copper prices, it has been fueled by magnitude of bullish macro tailwinds, including global supply crunch due to mine closures and red hot demand for the metal to power energy transition and artificial intelligence technologies. Copper, one of the best electrical conducting metals, it has already been used worldwide in motors, batteries and wiring. Data centers to power AI servers will likely require an additional 1 million metric tons of copper over the next three years. Additionally, new demand is also expected to come from electric vehicles, which have been built with four times more copper than vehicles with internal combustion engines. As demand surges and the world needs more copper and lots of it fast, there's one problem. Global supply is shrinking at a record pace off the back of a triple deficit, low inventories and low spare capacity and low investment. All of this means one thing, the copper market is only going to get tighter and eventually push prices a lot higher from the current levels. Copper isn't the only commodity to rocket on low inventories this year. Its upside has been replicated by other green energy metals, including cobalt, lithium, nickel, iron ore, zinc, uranium, aluminium, which have all made headlines by posting their biggest intraday gains since 1987. While the metals are getting all the attention right now, one of the best kept secrets in commodities is agriculture. Orange juice, coffee, cotton, lumber, rice and cocoa prices surging to all-time record highs. On Monday, cocoa prices they soared to an all-new record high of $12,000 per tonne. Cocoa prices they're now up 200% from their opening price of sub $4,000 per tonne at the start of the year. More impressively, cocoa prices they've notched up a staggering gain of over 381% from last year. It goes without saying the macroeconomic backdrop that we're seeing right now in 2024 for commodities, it is more bullish than ever. Citadel, one of the world's largest commodity trading firms, they have just reported more than $4 billion of profit from commodities and we're only a quarter of the way through the year. In fact, with everything that is currently happening on the global macro front, 2024 is officially on track to be the Gold and Silver Club's biggest and most profitable year in our 14-year history. Our clients have already made in excess of six, seven and eight figure returns and we're only in April. The majority of our clients at the Gold and Silver Club, they've already made more money in the last four months than they made in the entire 12 months of last year. That summarizes these lucrative and life-changing markets we find ourselves in right now. Whatever long-term goal you're looking to achieve through trading, whether that's to create a full-time income, a second replacement income, or just to earn a better return on your savings, now is the time to take action. Right now, you have an opportunity to make 2024 your biggest and best yet. 
which based on our research, it is going to be another blockbuster year ahead uh, due to all the macroeconomic events that are currently unfolding. Uh, definitely do not underestimate what you can achieve in the next one month, three months, six months, or even 12 months from now. Uh, here at the Golden Silver Club, we're consistently banking over 10,000 points of profit per month, which we've been transparently documenting through our weekly videos. If you're trading at one lot, that's $100,000. If you're trading at 10 lots, that's $1 million. As you can see from our testimonials, the majority of our clients at the Golden Silver Club are utilizing our proprietary research-driven training approach. They've already made in excess of six and seven figure returns, and we're only a quarter of the way through the year. If you've been kicking yourself for missing out on some of the biggest trading opportunities so far this year, and you still want to make 2024 your best ever, go to jointhegoldensilverclub.com now to learn how our mentorship program can take your trading to the next level. Time is the most valuable commodity that we have. Make sure that you don't waste it. So with that, let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at here as we head into a new week. So firstly, starting off with Platinum. So we identified this market with you last week as a sell short opportunity. Uh, we executed our sell short on Platinum at 973 US dollars per ounce. In fact, we've got Platinum right now trading at the daily lows down at 930 US dollars per ounce. This puts our position that we entered into midweek last week on the sell side up 430 points profit right now. Now that's just one new sell short that we executed over the last week. Alongside that, as we talked to you through previously, we are taking the opportunity here on multiple commodities, including oil, when it broke out to 86 and 87 dollars per barrel to scale out of more profit on this market. So we trim the amount of positions that we had on oil from seven down to three, locking in windfall amount of profit as we broke out 1,500 points in profit from our entries that we got on back down at 70, 71 and 72 US dollars per barrel. Now you'll note what happened in the last week and we talked to you through this setup here. Oil is now broken down almost 700 points in a week and a half. Hedge funds, money managers, speculators, they all got in much later into the move. This is where over 85%, they flipped net long at that point once they started to pile into the move much, much later. Of course, we got in much earlier into these positions over January, February, into March. However, with the speculators using outdated trend trading systems to buy in much later into the move, once they got in, the price was capped. It could not go any higher. And of course, many traders also got trapped off the back of the narratives about the conflict in the Middle East, thinking that they should be buying oil. But in fact, that was just a big news failure event. With that, we had a brief spike last week that essentially just grabbed liquidity and it's taken out more traders who've all bought in much later into the move here. So essentially, we've seen the staircase up here with oil and now the elevator down. Exactly the same setup now with silver. What have we seen in the last week? Again, speculators over 75% have flipped long, much later into the move. So you know, over January, over February, into March, we were talking you through massive opportunities to be buying silver down at 22 and 23 US dollars per ounce. Now, very much like we've done on oil, on gold, on platinum, we took the opportunity here on a breakout towards $29 per ounce to lock in further profits on this market. Now where we've seen speculators, we've got 75% that have flipped long in the last week. They've been squeezed out of sell shorts, but they're also buying much later into the move. They're getting FOMO. They've been sidelined. Now finally, they're capitulating and they're buying. What does silver do? It dumps. So we're seeing it dump almost 4% at the moment on Monday. Again, taking the staircase up, but now the elevator down. Exactly as we discussed with you last week as well, the trap has been set because many traders and investors, they've been sidelined throughout 2024. Now they can't take it anymore. They're expecting the prices to go much, much higher in the short term. When they finally capitulate and go long, they basically get rugged. And that's what we're seeing at the moment. Again, over 85% of speculators in the last couple of weeks, they've gone long on gold. Now, you know, we've been buying here sub $2,000 per ounce. This was back on Valentine's Day where we actually added to the portfolio. We got five positions on four of those new trades. And all of those positions, as we've seen a breakout to the upside here, we're taking the advantage to scale out of more profit. So it was just over a week ago that we in fact banked 4,000 points profit on just one trade there on gold that we'd entered into under $2,000 per ounce. So when we broke out to $2,400 per ounce, it made a lot of sense just to bank 100% of that trade, lock in 4,000 points profit on this market. So now on Monday, 
Typical for the end of the month as well, as we get towards the end of April here, we're getting the usual profit taking here as well. But not only that, it's the fact that speculators, they've all got in much later into the move. And now we're starting to see the market punish any late traders who are coming into the market, expecting an easy ride here for the price to just keep going up to all time highs. However, when you do see that setup, when traders who got sidelined, they eventually FOMO in, Normally, that's going to be a massive trap. So what is the plan here at the moment? So essentially, we're going to stay selling short platinum here. The previous week, in fact, on the breakout that we saw back above 1,000 US dollars per ounce, we had 10 trades on platinum at that point. We took the opportunity on every single position on the portfolio to raise the amount banked across multiple trades there on platinum. And then what we've done last week is reverse position at $973 per ounce. This is what we've done with our clients at the Gold and Silver Club here, getting into that position just last week week and then now we're seeing obviously platinum prices they're breaking down to 930 yeah now opportunities that I would see now between now the end of the week and then as we go into May as well is essentially going to be looking at lower prices to then buy back after we see speculators get flushed out of their long position. We're already seeing that on oil. We're not that far away from the price swing lows, which is going to present fresh opportunities at the end of April. And as we move into May, it's the same on palladium, especially if palladium can start taking out the swing lows here from March. That would be ideal. The lower, the better on this market for reload opportunities here between now, the end of the month, and then taking advantage of another cycle that we get as we move into the month of May, particularly where we have the Federal Reserve. So we have the interest rate decision as we go into the first week of May. There are some very specific cycles that you want to capitalize on as we head into a new month, particularly over the month of May. Same setup here with Platinum. Ideally, we keep breaking down, back down towards the price swing lows. We're selling short anyway, so we'll benefit from that. And then we can look to get back in for additional fresh long positions at best possible price. And whatever long-term goal you're looking to achieve through trade, whether that's greater full-time income, a second replacement income, or just to earn a better return on your savings, now is the time to take action. If you want to maximize your money-making potential and thrive, not just survive in these fast-moving markets, then you need to adapt your strategy to the current market conditions, and most importantly, utilize a professional research-driven trading approach. One of the biggest obstacles that holds back 99% of retail traders from achieving their desired success it's not having access to the correct professional strategies, institutional level data, and market intelligence to make confident decisions with accuracy and certainty. There's a massive gap between the top 1% of professional traders and the bottom 99% of misguided retail traders who simply rely on outdated technical analysis and gimmicky technical indicators that do not work. If you want to get yourself out of that bottom 99% and into the top 1% who are actually crushing it and making six, seven and eight figure returns in these markets right now, then you need to utilize a professional research driven trading approach or you'll just end up wasting lots of time, money and effort. You have no results to show for all of your hard work. In these rapidly changing markets, you need to be constantly innovating and evolving. Technical analysis, outdated technical indicators, they won't work. Those days, they're long gone. If that's all you're relying on, the odds are already stacked up massively against you. If you want to change your results, you have to change your thinking. If you want to learn our exclusive research-driven approach that is never taught to retail traders, it's only reserved for professional traders in the banks, the institutions, with access to powerful game-changing insights, including where the banks and institutions, where they're buying and selling in real time, alongside the key liquidity zones, so you can enter and exit the markets with pinpoint precision, alongside the fundamentals, the macroeconomics, the capital flows, the daily, weekly, and monthly, quarterly, real-time, data-driven cycles, and intermarket correlations then you need to join our mentorship program right now we are in one of the greatest eras of wealth creation if you want to successfully capitalize on these huge money-making opportunities ahead and build significant life-changing wealth there's no better time than now if you want to upgrade your income you have to upgrade your skills never underestimate what you can achieve in the next three six or even 12 months from now with the right guidance and mentorship Time is the most valuable commodity that we have. Make sure that you don't waste it. If you want to join our community of successful traders and take your trading to the next level, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You get access to real-time trade ideas, access to institutional research and market intelligence, access to our private members academy website, and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring. For more information, just go to jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will get in touch ASAP.